mind racing, trying to go through the decision making process at the end of the first half there? Uh, yeah, you know, right at the end of the half, I tried to make a play, obviously, and uh, didn't go my way. I got to be smarter with the ball. There's still some time left, so I really didn't need to reach out like that. But, um, you know, I was just trying to stay positive. There's a lot of game left to play. I didn't want to let that affect kind of the rest of the rest of the game for me. So just trying to move on quickly from it. Are you, were you more angry at penalty happened or that you ran 80 yards and didn't get a touchdown? <laughs> on the no, nah, I mean, I was fine. That stuff happens in football. But most mad I was about was when I fumbled it right at the end of the half. But, um, you know, the 80 yard, that stuff happens. So I try to come back and keep persevering, I guess. So that's a lot of work, though. I mean, you, you had the one and you potentially, you know, I know it's not an individual game, but uh, that, that's a free touchdown game. It, it helps, you know, your stats and scores your stats, and it's a bigger win and all that type of thing. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's got to be aggravated. Yeah, I mean, I mean, statistically, it would have looked nice, but, you know, the main stat that matters is we won. So um, I'm just glad we were able to come out with that. And at the end of the day, it's on film stuff, so people can see it and uh, it's out there. So, but yeah, I mean, would it be nice to be, or if that would have stood, yeah, for sure. But it's all right. We won, so at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Joe, that was your first battle with Miami there for the victory bell. Walk us through the emotions of bringing that bell back to Clifton. Yeah, um, you know, I didn't. Really, I mean, I knew it was a rivalry uh, growing up. Um, but when I first got here, since day one, they're kind of instilling it in my brain and everybody else's brain how important that game was. Um, so we prepared all winter, spring, summer, and uh, fall camp for that game. And um, you know, when everyone put our mind to something. That's kind of the result we get. And uh, able to go up there and get a win. So it was great to bring that belt back. As part of you, if you look at what you've done, and you kind of want you know tell the Ohio State people and let's see what you missed. No, nah, I mean. I think everything happens for a reason. Um, you know, I was dealing with some stuff up there, and me selfishly, I felt like I needed to change the scenery. I needed to come back home to kind of be myself again. And luckily, I found that. Um, you know, I, I got no bad blood towards Ohio State, any of the coaches or anything. Just unfortunate, kind of what happened up there for me. And I wasn't able to produce for them. Did you know that you were going to find it, or how long did it take for you to get back here until they kind of clicked that you made the right call? Uh, I mean, I felt. As soon as I came back, I, I made the right decision. But, um, you know, I, I lost kind of, honestly, after I lost my mom and stuff, I lost the love for football for a while. Um, it was never really the same. And uh, it took me some time even going through spring and summer. And uh, I feel like it really finally clicked for me in fall camp. And that's kind of when I was at my best. And, um, yeah, so now I, I enjoy the game again. I love being out here practicing and on Saturdays. You saw some video where you went to the sky, obviously, for the longer than you have seen. Yeah. Is that for every touchdown? Yeah, uh, every touchdown, no matter what I do after it. But I think my uh, my first thing is I'll, I'll always point up and wave to her up there for sure. To talk about the impact that Nathan had on the game Saturday, obviously first time kicking the game, goes out, hits two 50-yard field goals. Talk about his uh, day on Saturday yeah, a little uh, bit. Both of those kicks were huge for us. And, uh, you know, I think that was his first game kicking like field goals and come out and drain uh, two 50-plus yarders. And I think that was the first uh, – First time in school history. history yeah. yeah, so that's a awesome man. He's earned it. He deserved it. You know, he wasn't starting for us for a while, but uh, he's kept his head down, kept uh, going, and we've had the results showed for him. He's a great kid, great player as well. Through three games, is this uh, meeting your expectations for returning home, exceeding them, or is it better than you thought it would be? And you're a huge part of this offense. Yeah, and you're producing. Uh, I think it's just right. Um, you know, it's everything I ever wanted, and uh, I just want to be able to keep coming out each week and uh, just try to help the team win some games and just being able to do that back home, there's nothing better, but I'm extremely happy where I am. Fast forward to Saturday, first Big 12 opener of the season. Just talk about the excitement and the emotions in the locker room heading into Houston. Yeah, uh, it's a new season for us, really. Um, if we want to, one of our goals is to get to Dallas and do that. We've got to take each week of the Big 12 one week at a time and uh, try to come out with some victories. But um, our Coach Steph was just saying, I don't think we've won a Big 12 game at Nippard yet. So um, it's coming out Saturday. Um, just kind of just sticking together, know, doing what we know we can do. And I think uh, the result will be good. But yeah, it's definitely, uh, intentions are a little higher this week for sure. It's like a mother's game. I, I, I know I've talked to her, but I, yeah. I can remember what I'm yeah, uh, I don't know if I, I don't think I have it, but her name was Michelle. She went by Mickey, but yeah, that's her right there. Good. Good. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it.